a second ethics advisor walks out on Boris Johnson after what he himself labelled an exceptionally busy year. Did the Prime Minister break the Ministry of Health? I think the Prime Minister's views are, are clear in the letter that he sent to me on the, on the 31st, but do, do, do have a look at that. OK, thank you very much. In a one-sentence resignation statement, Lord Guite gave no reason for quitting. In an appearance before MPs on Tuesday, there were a few hints on accusations that he was too close to number 10. How can I defeat the impression that you're uh, um, uh, suggesting of a sort of, uh, uh, of, sort of cosy, insufficiently independent uh, uh, relationship? I think it's very hard. And on whether he'd well, ever considered resigning, this response. There are a few instruments available to a, an independent advisor and um, um, uh, important to consider what is going to work best. Again, I haven't, uh, um, I haven't given you a direct answer. In 14 months in the job, clashes resulted in multiple threats to resign. It seems Tuesday's committee appearance was the final straw. The ethics advisor who resigned tonight had been the principal private secretary to the Queen. The challenge for Boris Johnson now is whether he can find another ethics advisor of anything like the same standing and what impact will this whole row have on Tory MPs' confidence in him. Critics quick to point to the bigger pattern. I think he wanted to achieve change, he wanted to improve the ethical standards in Downing Street and he thought he'd be able to do that. Um, but he was repeatedly lied to by the Prime Minister personally and by the Prime Minister's team. Lots of good people go to work at Downey Street and then they get consumed in the bonfire of Boris Johnson's narcissism and, uh, and their reputations are the ones that are tarnished and ruined. Number 10 insists Lord Guite's resignation is a total surprise, having indicated earlier this week he was happy to continue in the job for months to come. Now his departure, yet another headache for a Prime Minister trying to perform a relaunch. Sam Coates, Sky News, Westminster.